site that I guess was identified that landowners were interested in doing something in. In this trend, we did a trench going down valley to see if we'd see any down valley trends in the soil stratification. We're going to do two more up in the upper field. Drive up and down the valley, you see a lot of hill slope failure where the stream is like right up against the valley slope. And I mean, you look up and you know, it's like it's the whole valley slope just slumps right into the stream bed. I mean, it's it's amazing. You know, the banks are just getting you know, ripped apart, right? And so, if you can kind of lower those banks and create you know a, a lower lying floodplain, still have the, the same material in the stream as the bed, which is good, but the floods just get out quicker without hammering on the banks and you provide a, a place, a volume for you know, storage and right. it takes the stress off the banks. I mean, this is the uh, silts that we were talking about that are in the top one foot approximately in, the, in this top area. Some spots you got a foot of silt on top, some you have zero. Like the first trench we didn't have any silt except maybe an uh, inch yeah. of that. And then the next one, like a foot huh. or 18 inches or something. Yeah. And then this one's more like a foot. So we don't want, you know, like a design to be on top. So then you get into this unconsolidated layer. Larger size gravels kind of interspersed in there. A mix of gravels and silts and sands. And it, you know, it, we don't know what, we're not sure what it's telling us because, uh, Kind of got to go back and look at the data and see if there's any trend lines. And then you make a transition into like all gra all cobble. Get into this higher uh, concentration of this platy stuff. We want the bed of the stream right, to be on you know big cobbly stuff, which is more natural to this area and region. And it's and then you get down into this and it's platy, intermixed with small, medium-sized gravels, rounded gravels. That's the kind of stuff that we're kind of like counting on working with, you know yeah. what I mean? That's what we anticipate the proposed stream bed to be down into and on to, and on for long-term stability. And then the long-term stability for the, the macros, for the, for the trout. And then it's kind of like the field of dreams. You build it and it'll come. Hopefully we can develop the, the proper habitat for the trout and that's what yeah. we're hoping to accomplish here. Right. Don't so forget we, don't forget flood mitigation. And and provide <laughs> flood storage in the floodplain. Yeah, I mean definitely. Right. This is an exciting project. I mean it's it is. I mean you know I've seen pictures that you guys have, you know, and it's just kind of freaky to think about anything close to that happening out there. It's, it'd be amazing. <laughs> it's big. Yeah, you start somewhere, and then everyone's like, "Oh man, I want that on my property." Yeah, that really looks that looks really cool. We got cool, a big you know? project site too here. This is yeah. six thousand feet of stream, and that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of stream.